Hey guys, Sabrina here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to seamlessly loop your particles. So I see a lot of Steam profiles that have absolutely terrible particles. You can definitely see where they loop on most of these profiles, and that can absolutely break a profile. So this method I'm going to show you today isn't absolutely flawless, but it is pretty good and really, really easy to do. So let's get straight into it. So you can see in the background, this is template eight on top of this particle loop I've made, which is pretty cool, but we're just gonna open up a new composition. So new composition, I'm going to name mine uh, particles, uh, 506, 506, 30 FPS, 15 seconds. So let's open that up. And now we need a particle. So I'm gonna to go to new solid and just bring in any solid. And I'm gonna type in particle to my effects and bring in particle world and drag it on top of my solid. I'm gonna to go to my grid and then get rid of all of these. To untick all of those. So that is just blank. If we go into our animation a little bit, we can see that we can see the particles then. So we're just gonna edit these a little bit. So I don't want as many particles. Let's bring it down to maybe 0.1. That seems like a good amount. And I want them to last for about a second and a half. I'm then going to go to my producer. I'm going to lift it up with the Y axis. So it's sort of above our scene. And I'm just going to stretch it out a lot to fill up the whole thing and zoom it a bit out. And change the Z to make it have a bit more depth. Then we're going to go to our physics. So I'm going to go with twirly for this one because I like it. It's really, really cool to look at. And I'm going to just change the velocity down a little bit, put up some extra, and now I'm going to go to particle, change my type to whatever you like. So there's shaded sphere, which looks like some nice little embers and stuff, which, which is, that's the theme I'm going to be going for for mine. So some nice ember sort of themes. So you can see that looks pretty cool. So this would be good enough to loop now, but you can just keep messing around with the settings if you like, but this is what I like. So I'm gonna get out of all that, and now we're gonna start working on it. So once we've got our particle set up, what we wanna do is drag the work area to where you want it. I only want mine at 10 seconds. And so from here, we'll work out where the particles actually start to become more consistent. So for this one, it's around three seconds. So I'm gonna set it to three seconds, press the asterisk key to make a marker, and then I'm just going to drag in the sides of the layer to cut on that marker. And then we're going to drag it to the start of our animation. If it's not long enough, you can drag out the right side as well, and then you'll have more to work with. So now that we've done that, we want to go about a second ahead of time, set another marker, and then drag it behind the timeline. So now we see it's nice and lined up. We want to duplicate the layer. And then now what we want to do is we want to click on the top layer that we just duplicated and press alt and the right square bracket. This will cut anything behind the marker. So all the stuff we just dragged behind the start of the project will now be cut into the separate piece. We want to drag this to the end of our composition. And then for this one, we want to select the bottom layer and then press alt left square bracket. Then we want to cut off any excess we have with the square brackets again, or you can just cut it by dragging it in. So now we can see that we've got this little extra bit, which is from the start of this animation. What we want to do is we want to open up our opacity options. So select your layer and press T. Then we see this little stopwatch next to the opacity. We want to click on that. And so this one will be set to 100. We don't want it to be 100% opaque yet. So we're going to drag that to the end of this layer here. And then we are going to make another keyframe pressing this button. And then we're going to set this one to zero. This will let it fade in with our animation. We also want to do the same, but for this layer over here. So the layer below, we're going to press T again, click the stopwatch, and we want it to go from 100 to zero. So this one's 100, and then we're going to drag it to the end and make it zero. Then, if we watch it through, we can see that the animation of the particles loops nearly flawlessly. It's absolutely amazing. So if we just skip to the end here quickly, this is where the animation loops. So it's pretty smooth. So now we can couple this with a like template that I've made. So if you wanna just drag in a template file that I've made, you can just drag it up here onto the top of the composition. 
So now this animation ends at around here. So what we're going to do is just trim it in and then we can place it wherever we like. So I'm going to place mine around the middle and now we can see and it loops almost flawlessly. Anyways, I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. If you like this sort of content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. I hope to see you guys in the next hey, video. Hey, when I'm in LA, I do not know who I can trust when I'm in Como. It's everybody show me love when I'm in Houston. I smack that ass and throw it up. I really do this. Yeah, I really do this when I'm in LA.